this application is hard to fill out, isn't it? And for what reason? I have no clue. But that's why I'm making this video, so that we can all stress a little less. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jasmine if you didn't know. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to fill out the ASHA application. Because we all know they did not make it that simple. So first I'm going to start off by just telling you what you need in order to be successful in filling out this application. First you're going to need your demographic information. Then you're going to need your degree and program information. Then you're going to need an official transcript from your graduate school or university. Next you're going to need your weeks and hours completed during your CF, your CF supervisor report, your Praxis score, and lastly of course you're going to need some money. So now that you know exactly what you're going to need to fill out this application, let me quickly walk you through the different tabs and the information you're going to have to put in. So starting off with that demographic tab, it's literally asking you where you work, what type of demographic you're currently working with, what type of disorders you're seeing, what ages, and finally any languages that you might want to report that you know and use as an SLP. So next, the degree section is literally where you're just going to input the school that you went to, the degree you received, and when you received it. So it is important to note that you don't have to wait until the end of your CF to enter in your transcript. So that's something that you can be doing at the end of grad school, during your CF, really whenever you start your application. Your transcript can be sent in at any time. The next section is your program director, where you go in and you enter the name and email of the director of your master's program. So the next section is the praxis section. That's literally where the scores that you sent into Asher are going to be on display. And it's just gonna say passed or not passed. And so I would say the freest way and the easiest way to get your scores to ASHA is to send your scores in right after you take the Praxis. So the Praxis gives you three free scores, I believe, right after you take it. And so I would send it to ASHA, I would send it to your school, and I would send it to whatever state you are trying to have your license in. The last section, the clinical fellowship section, gave me such a hard time because there are a lot of abbreviations. I didn't know what I needed to enter or what my supervisor needed to enter, so let me break it down for you real quick. A and P, those are all of the hours for your school um, that need to be approved. So that gets approved through your transcript. So send in your transcript and that takes care of the A and P part. The weeks and hours that you have completed, those need to be approved both through ASHA and through your CF supervisor. So there's going to be a section that says find your clinical supervisor. You can find them either through their ASHA number or through their first and last name and where they're currently practicing. So this is a step that you can't do until you're finished with your CF. That was something that I was really confused about because I thought you could submit the ASHA application and be done with it before your CF was over, but you have to have that very important step once your CF is complete because it won't let you put the date of completion in if you're not finished with your CF. So once you're finished, find your um, CF supervisor, then it will send a series of questions and things over to your CF supervisor. They will fill out the questions, boom, 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 yes, yes, yes. They'll check all the boxes, send it back to ASHA, and then now you're just waiting for ASHA to complete their part, which can take anywhere from four to six weeks. Okay guys, so now that you know what you need and what you have to do for each part of the application, I did wanna go over the application cost. So there's a lot of different prices to name, so I have my handy dandy notebook to make sure that I tell you the right ones. So if you have been in Nishla for at least two years and you are looking to get the membership and your C's for ASHA upon your first application, that price is gonna be $286. So if you are a new grad like me and you're not a part of Nishla, but you also want the membership and your C's, that's gonna be a pretty penny of $461. Now, if you're not in Nishla, you're not a new grad, but you still want your C's and you do want your membership as well, that's gonna be $511. Now, if you're like, bump membership, I don't wanna be a member, you just want your C's, that's gonna cost $455. Guys, I really hope this video cleared up any confusion because I know that I 
had a hard time filling this application out with my supervisor and we called Asher and they low-key had an attitude that we were asking questions so I just decided to put all of this in one video so that it is very simple for you to do. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you guys have any additional questions or you want to help each other, feel free to do so down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing content and until my next video, peace.